Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. How's everybody doing today? I have a trusty bottle of water here today, something that I horribly missed yesterday. Streaming for five hours and not drinking much of anything was, uh, was a bit, maybe a bit thirsty, we'll say. So I was going to stream Manor Lords today, but I I checked uh, I checked Twitch and there's like a billion people streaming it, so I'm like, yeah, let's just stream some more Kayame. And I think that's what we're going to do. I'm curious about Banner, Manor Lords, not Banner Lord, that's a different game, but meh. Maybe I'll wait for the hype to die down with that a little bit. Just a little bit. But, uh... We'll see how that goes. We'll switch. Switch over. Excuse me. There we go. I was pushing the wrong button. Of course I was. Alright. And today I actually have draw tools. So I can... Draw on the screen. It's kind of nice. Although we might want to use a different color. Something that stands out a little bit better. Black. Yeah, I think black will work. Maybe. Uh, it's really faint. It's, uh, it's a tool that I have. So I can make it more visible. Or less visible. But obviously the more visible I make it. The harder it is to see the back. Like the actual gameplay. So I'm going to try to keep that like kind of downish so that it's not distracting and I'm not even gonna have it up when I'm not drawing so so it's it's not like just gonna be a white fade across the screen so let's jump jump right in I'm gonna be using my my name today and we're gonna see what we can do see if we can get on that leaderboard that's always the goal anyhow so let's go All right, well, this is a start. Quark, I think Quark is a bot. We have a bunch of bots around us. Auto is definitely a bot. So we're just gonna take as much land as we can to start with. Just sorta normal build up stuff right now. Keep my king away from any immediate harm. We don't wanna lose him too early. That would be unfortunate we'll say and this kind of isn't a great spawn oh, there's another bot to our south hmm we're a little bit uh we're a little bit cornered here that's all right though florent hello how are you doing today Yeah, it might take me a little bit of effort to get out of this one. But that's okay. It can't always be easy on me. That wouldn't be very fun. Weather good, decent day. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty nice here today, but I think it's supposed to freeze tonight. So that'll be something. See, we'll upgrade this to a centrifuge, try to get our projectors online as quickly as I can. And we're just gonna expand. Fortunately, neither of these bots are too aggressive right now. They won't take that. Yeah. Nah, they won't take that. They don't have enough people. All right, M's a player. We'll offer them an alliance. They might accept it. They might attack us. Yeah, it, it looks like I'm in Pulsar Destroyer. I'll, I'll befriend them as well. Okay. Let's see. So I have my centrifuge. I need to... What are they? Two factories? Two generators. 
There they are. All right, that should get my centrifuge to upgrade into my projectors, and we can start working with projectors. I always try to rush projectors. I just like using them way too much. That's kind of my thing, and I think we're just gonna do all tanks today. I haven't really done all tanks for a while. I, I've been doing a lot of infantry stuff, and I like the speed of the infantry, but I like the power of the tanks. And that's just a personal preference. And we are completely surrounded. That's great. Excuse the crunch of my water bottle. I, uh, I'm gonna try to stay a little bit more hydrated today. That was, uh, that was a problem yesterday. I, I didn't feel it until after I was done with the stream, but I was, uh, I was rather dehydrated. Uh, going five some hours and only drinking the, a single can of soda was, uh, not, not pleasant, we'll say. Let's see, we should break through this rather easily. Fortunately, it looks like we're mostly being left alone, despite being completely surrounded. I'm okay with that. Let's see, is that a good spot? No. Hmm, I don't really have a great place to route this. I guess I can route it there, but I don't really want to route it through another player. That, that seems like a bad idea. I guess we can route it there. Uh, we're gonna be fighting this bot anyway. We could route the rest of the stuff through here. M is on the leaderboard, so we wanna be a little bit careful. They're pretty big. So, ooh, this music seems a little loud. Maybe I'll crank it back a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. There we go. So with using tanks instead of infantry, we're gonna have a little bit of a slower game. We're not gonna be moving super fast. And that's okay. It might give us some time to actually play around with my supply lines a little bit, get them set up properly. Let's see, we'll upgrade that radar. I don't want to upgrade anything down here because I feel like I could be attacked down here at any minute and I would just lose everything. In fact, this move is a little risky. We'll do that. What's a little risk? There we go. Bots are not very smart. They've never been very smart. They never will be very smart, and that's okay. Uh, bots aren't meant to be perfect, and I think I think they have a decent balance right now of being challenging without being obnoxious, if that makes sense. Like, bots can definitely be dangerous, especially if you leave them go for too long. But other than that, bots could be dealt with pretty easily. All right, I still don't really know what M's going to do. I don't know whether they're going to try to attack me at some point or, or if they're just going to continue being on their merry way. I suppose time will tell. Most players will leave you to your own devices as long as you don't threaten them, but but some some of them can be pretty aggressive. There are certain players that will not will not be friendly on principle. And there we go. He just uh, he just accepted my friend request. <laughs> my Facebook friend request. 
Now, now we are friends forever, I suppose. Okay. Now we should be able to push into these bots a little bit better. Uh, I'm less scared of being horribly murdered. I was a little bit concerned there for a few minutes, spawning down here with bots all around me. Anything could happen. But we're okay. Let's see. Let's upgrade this radar. We'll see, uh, see what's down there. Check out to see if there's a good place to route units to. I could just attack up this way, try to corner the spot. This spot's kind of awkward to fight because you have you have walls like you know, let's use the draw tool. That's why we have it. You have walls like here and here. So the only place you can attack is like around this way. So it's it's kind of. It's kind of not great, but it should be fine this early. Many W's. Okay, many W's is on the leaderboard. There we go. All right. So we're going to get our satellite soon. That's going to be good. And we will go from there. Yeah, this spot won't be a problem. This spot's a little bit powerful, but it's close enough that I don't think there'll be too much of an issue. Uh, I'm on the actual, like, site, kayamet.com, but it should be this all the same server. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think there's a different server for, uh, crazy games. It all routes to the same place. upgrade this into a rocket and we can get some satellites going okay I'm a little bit worried about many W's they uh, they don't seem to appreciate other players so this might be a very short game might be a very short game indeed and I don't actually, I don't actually have any barrackses to upgrade those into fortifications. So let's prepare for the worst. Let's assume many W's is going to come in and attack me over here. Set up some defenses. They're not going to matter in the long run, but Maybe we can at least slow them down a little bit. Okay, there we go. So I'd like to set up, I think. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know where I wanna route these guys. This production can route into this projector. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. And then everything else up in this area can probably route into this centrifuge. Well, we'll upgrade it to a projector, but yeah. It seems like it makes sense. Let's 
Let's see. Did I have another one? Yeah. Okay, that's at least something. If many W's here actually decides to attack me, it's not going to mean anything, but it's at least a vain attempt at defense if they do choose to attack me. Yeah, it's weird. There's actually not that much production up here. There's a runway and this runway, I suppose, which I could also route up there. Hmm. Well, we'll need to we'll need that up there anyway eventually, so it's all good. So you have your defensive structures, you have your ramparts, you have your headquarters, you have your bunkers. Your ramparts have the most shields. I believe they max out at 60, I want to say. I guess we'll find out here momentarily. Once this shield arrives. Yeah, they max out at 60. I believe they also have double HP or shield regen. Let's see if I'm right about that. I think I recall uh, the dev mentioning something about that. So they generate one shield every three seconds compared to the bunker, which is every five seconds, and the headquarters, which is every five seconds. So it's almost half, not quite half, compared to the bunker, which is down here. The Rampart takes full damage from nukes, though, while the Headquarters and Bunker only take partial damage. So in that sense, I don't usually like to use Ramparts, unless I know that my enemy is not using nukes, which I don't really know if many Ws is a nuker or not. Uh, he has a nuke here, but I think he took that from from the bot. I could be wrong about that. Okay, so M has left. That's okay. I'm not going to push too far in this direction because I don't want many Ws to murder me or have more reason to murder me. And he might do that anyway. In fact, I might prepare a little bit more here. There is no way I could actually... Hey, Lily, how are you today? It has been a while. Anyway, there's actually no... Yeah, he's firing nukes at me. Okay. Yeah, there's actually no way that I can beat many Ws, this guy over here but I can maybe make his life a little bit miserable. So here's what I'm going to do. I can't really win this in this way. We're going to, funnily enough, downgrade all of my armories down back into barracks. Because barracks generate troops a little bit faster and unless you have a lot of armories, your barracks are going to be, they're just going to be better. There's just no, no other way to explain that. So we'll do that. How many? I could respawn. But I, I don't like respawning. I like fighting things out. I like giving people a hard time. I like struggling. So unfortunately, they only have one way. 
Well, they had one way to attack me. Now they have many more ways to attack me. And that means I'm probably going to have to work a little bit harder here. We're going to keep expanding in this direction. Take as much land as possible. And if need be, we're just going to run. Actually, I want to take it this way. I want to go this way. I want to push them back. And then push in. So what I want to do is essentially I want to bring this army up and around and then push them back to this choke point. And uh, maybe from there I'll have some kind of fighting chance. I don't know if I actually will or not. I probably won't, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And we're also just going to lob a bunch of nukes. We're just going to try to make it as difficult for this guy as possible. Hit his silo right there. See, how many other nukes do we have? That's it, huh? Okay, let's change this. We'll turn that into a silo. I kind of wish these players didn't spawn in here. <laughs> that, uh, that would have been nice. Okay, do we have... Mm, there we go. I guess we'll use that one. I'm probably going to be focusing pretty hard here. I'll try to maintain the commentary, but no promises. Yeah, they're going to try to come in through both areas. I don't know. I mean, I probably can't stop them. I'm going to actually stop fighting Megatron. Because one thing bots are really good at is being really annoying. So if they can be a nuisance and sort of derail whatever plans many W's may have, that would be great. Let's see. I'm going to take this production up here. So we have sort of messed up his supply lines a little bit, which is good. But this is still very early. He probably hasn't even noticed. He's probably focused on other things. Ah, uh, yes, there is nothing we can do. Ah, uh, there's plenty we can do. At least in this case, there is. Let's see. There's no production up here. So I'm going to take this and then hopefully push this way. Hopefully. I don't know how well that'll work, but we'll see. That runway could be annoying. And I don't have an easy way to get to it. I can start pushing. So I noticed they stopped pushing into me. And I don't know if they decided they had better things to do or if they're probably busy elsewhere. When you get that big, there's a lot going on. So that could be it. Let's see. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, or he's going to kill the bot down here. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, that ruined that part of the plan. Oh, well. 
We're gonna keep working. We're gonna keep doing what we can. Do I wanna nuke that? No, I think I'd rather nuke that. I wanna take this. It's just trying to make yourself as difficult of a target as possible. Eventually, they'll probably end up giving up and moving on with their lives. Sometimes they might decide to fight it to the death, but not often. Not all the time. Is that going to the right place? No, that's not going to the right place. Now it's going to the right place. All right, there we go. So we're gonna kind of set up behind this spot here. Maybe the bot will focus on this player more. Maybe not. And we're going to build a satellite here. That way we can get a little bit more vision. Still want to take this. And I should get rid of that artillery. We'll continue taking the production in the back, consolidating, trying to push it forward as much as possible. I was hoping for a nice chill game, but apparently we have to <laughs> we have to try hard a little bit. That's alright. He has noticed. That's okay. And I don't have the range for that. Okay. How about here? Nope. I still don't have the range for that. We'll target that. We'll see if that helps. Now, the problem, right, is that he could just come in this way. He doesn't have to come this way, and he doesn't have to come this way. So, because he has so many ways into my land, it's going to be really hard to defend this. Especially because I only have one supply line right now supporting everything. But we're going to try. We're going to do what we can. Let's connect this to a supply line. At least that way we can get a little bit of defenses over here. It's not much. What is... I swear I sent that projector over here. I... I don't know. I'm, I'm just bad at the game, apparently. It's fine. It's all good. I'm going to upgrade this into a artillery piece, which is not something that I use too often. But when you're dealing with players that are much larger than you, 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 you got to use the tools that you have. You, you can't be uh, afraid to jump in and throw nukes and artillery around and whatever else you can do to to really just make you as difficult as a t of a target as possible. As much of a nuisance as possible. Is that in range? That is in range. Okay. There we go. I'm 
I'm gonna bring this line of troops over here. I don't think that'll be enough, but it might be. It might be enough to slow them down. Okay, so they've noticed this. They've noticed that I shelled this. So they're rerouting their troops. That's okay. What if we brought... That's already going down there. Hmm. I might just start sending troops this way and running my king. I don't really have a good... <laughs> Many good options here. Just gotta do what I can. I really thought that the path opened up over here. That would have been scary. If they could attack me from this direction, and they theoretically probably could come around, that would not be very pleasant. It's already unpleasant, so it would be extremely unpleasant if they could attack me from another direction. But we are making some progress. We're losing as much ground as we're gaining, but we're at least gaining a little bit of ground at the moment. Uh, these guys actually need routed into there. Ah, uh, he probably can get, get through here. I bet he could probably come right over if he wanted to. Hmm. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. Let's pretend that that's not a problem. The good news is we have this bot here. Uh, they might be able to be a nuisance. So we have something going on here. <laughs> I'm willing to be friends with this guy. We don't have to fight. But they seem pretty keen on fighting. So I'm just going to sit here and pretend that I'm doing all I can and, well, I mean, I am doing all I can, but all I can to, like, befriend them and they can keep doing their own thing. Okay, so can my artillery reach? It can reach there. Hmm. Problem is, is that one artillery piece isn't really enough. I think you need two. I think one just takes way too long. Because I think the shields will regen mostly before, uh, before this gets destroyed. We'll try it. There's no harm in trying anything at this point. Okay, we'll keep hitting as the production. Take that barracks. This looks pretty good, but it's important to keep in mind that they're not really focusing on me right now. Like, they probably assumed that that little bit of troops that they sent would be enough to take care of me. And they're probably focusing on other things. And it's not going to be until they start noticing their troops are dying that there will be a problem. Wait. Did I... Was I attacking through this guest into this bot? Hmm. 
Maybe, I don't actually remember. Because I think I wanted to head this way. Hmm. Okay, well, we can go this way through this spot, I suppose. Like that. Alright. So we do have to be a little bit careful because this spot down here, as useful as they might be, might just randomly decide they want to kill me for some reason. EWS, uh, is that this? Yeah, the EWS is, uh, it's, it's just an upgraded radar. So you have your radar, you have your EWS, and you have your satellite. And the EWS just sees a little bit farther than the radar, and it doesn't see as far as the satellite. Unless you're talking about the EMP, which is built out of the radar as well. Let's see. Do I have one of those? Yeah, right here. So you upgrade the uh, the radar to a rocket, and then you upgrade it to, I think it's called a launcher? I don't actually remember. Yeah, a launcher, and that fires EMPs. We'll show off those, too. I don't use those that often, either. They have specific abilities and counters and things like that. Yeah, I don't think we're actually ever going to get through this barracks. It's, it's already mostly healed. So that's a launcher. They fire EMPs. Actually, we might... We might be able to use that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, EMP launchers have very long range. That's kind of their big thing. Let's see. Let's consolidate all this mess together. collect our production that way we can use it against our enemies I think we're probably going to end up having to kill this bot let's see so I'll create this to a satellite see what else is going on out okay they can't get to me Whenever I see a mass of troops suddenly appear on the border, I'm like, are they going to attack me? Am I going to be fighting from other directions now? Pretty sure this guest is just, like, taking pieces of land and then going back to being my friend. That's okay, though. Oh, you're at 17th place. Congratulations. Ah, okay. So we can use this launcher. Maybe to an effect. We'll see. So EMPs are interesting, we'll say. Let's see. There we go. They don't do a lot of damage, but what they do do is disable towers for 60 seconds. So, when it says disables the tower, that means it doesn't produce any shields, so it doesn't regenerate health, and it doesn't produce units. So, when it's something like this, where I'm attacking this barracks with the artillery, I can disable it for 60 seconds with the EMP, and then keep firing at it with the artillery. Okay, there's still no way for him to get in through here. And then I can use that to destroy the barracks. Usually that's not how I deal or how I use EMPs, 
usually the best way to use EMPs is via um, dealing with nukes, anti-nuke. Because EMPs have a much longer range than the nuclear weapon, so nukes only have like a really short range. But the EMPs have a much longer range. So you could use an EMP to more or less disable a silo indefinitely. Because it takes them so long to spawn even one nuke. Spot is a bot, I believe. I don't have to worry too much about them. I think I'm also going to try to use my keyboard to move things a little bit better more. Because something I noticed listening to the VOD from last night is that you can hear every single click that I do. So if I'm clicking around the map real fast, you're gonna hear that. Okay, so that has disrupted his supply lines a little bit. Now I don't really wanna constantly fire against that spot because he might just move his supply line. So we'll just stop firing, and then when he starts moving his supply lines again, we'll, uh, we'll attack him again. Can EWS move troops automatically? No. No, EWS, uh, it, it's literally just radar. It's just a better radar. It doesn't do anything fancy. So the reason why projectors work to transport troops is because it has a it can move shields it can move its shields like it was troops because nothing gets produced out of the ews that can move you can't use it as a waypoint so you can use projectors as a waypoint because they produce shields that you can send along the, the roads and you can use any of your production buildings as a a waypoint on your supply line because they produce troops that can move along the roads. But because the EWS doesn't produce any kind of thing that can move along the, the, uh, the roads, you cannot use them in that way. Uh, the same thing goes for like artillery or silos or launchers. Even though they have weapons that they could fire they have emps shells and nukes because they don't they don't technically move along the road like a normal unit does you can't use that to route troops either so uh so the only thing that can route troops is things that can send troops forward basically Yeah, don't don't lose your king. It's it's easy to forget them, but that's it doesn't matter how big you are. If you lose your king, you you lose you lose the game. I've been asking and begging the dev to do more with the king, and I think they probably will at some point but not not yet not yet other than being a big target your king doesn't do anything except die okay i feel a little bit less scared of many w's now i don't know if they're it seems like they're AFK because they're not doing anything. I'm looking at their score. Their score isn't going anywhere. Usually you can tell when a player is active because their score will 
mostly go up. Not always. Obviously, if they're losing a war, their score will not go up. But usually when a player is playing, their score is going up. So if you're ever unsure if a player is actually at their keyboard or not, you just kind of watch their scores. For example, I would be willing to bet that this player here is also not present. But if you go up to like the number one player, their score is going up at kind of a consistent rate, I say, as they go down. Maybe nobody's here. Maybe I'm the only person on the server other than Florent and... And maybe everybody's AFK. Who knows? So it's interesting now. I can push my supply line into theirs. But I don't... Know if I want to do that. I might push it to there. Eventually they're going to come back and want revenge. Because I did take a whole bunch of their land. Even though they attacked me first. And many W's has left. Oh, I'm gonna count that as a win. <laughs> I'm gonna say that I did that. I won that war. I defeated many W's. It was me. Okay. Do that, we'll double back that supply line. We'll double back that supply line. We'll consolidate a little bit here. I don't know if I need to be afraid of this player. <laughs> no, I, I want to be clear. That, that individual probably just left. I probably had nothing to do with it. Uh, maybe, maybe they were tired. Maybe they didn't feel like playing anymore. It's possible. Hey, Tetrahedron. It's possible that I contributed to that. That me being a massive nuisance just made him go, eh, I think I'm done for the day. But for the most part, that was probably just a, they, they were tired or they wanted to quit or they were already done. I don't think I actually had anything to do with that. It's not like, uh, it's not like the game I had that I posted on YouTube against the top, uh, top player where, like, you could tell they were getting frustrated because they just started building a whole bunch of nukes and nuking everything indiscriminately, and they were definitely getting frustrated. But even then, like, I, I, I contributed to that particular player quitting, but it probably wasn't entirely me. It's usually not just one factor that does that. Alright. I'm getting really tired of this guest like, breaking their alliance with me. And taking random pieces of territory. So, I'm going to resolve this problem. I tried to be nice. Let the record show that I tried to be nice. But it just wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be nice. Huh, oh, this is a little interesting formation. So I've seen this formation a lot before, 
where like there's only one way in and all of this is inaccessible except for one path it's pretty nice it's a nice place to put your king but obviously if you're surrounded it means that people can just nuke you and you have to go the whole way around to to get out also i spent so much time finding this draw tool i'm gonna use it it might not be perfect it might not be great but <laughs> but it is mine it is my tool and i'm going to use it let's see okay I oh, will do that. So I'll be curious to see what happens when this player leaves. Is, I guess we'll call them Huey. Will Huey attack me or will they just go off and do something else? Who knows? You know what? That's actually perfect. I'm gonna switch back to tanks. It might be a bad idea, it might be a mistake, but I wanna play with some tanks, tanks are fun. Exceedingly slow, but fun nonetheless. We'll have at least one tank line. And we'll just go off and crush bots with it. Like this one. All right. Starting to get quite large. Decent, not bad. Let's see, we've been streaming for 55 minutes. We were at 700 points. It's okay. It's not bad. As I've said before, I, I usually uh, consider a thousand points an hour pretty good. But we kind of got bogged down being afraid of that player for a while. And we're not out of the woods yet. Again, Huey over here might just decide that they want to start attacking me. In fact, let's move my king somewhere safer. Move them over here. There we go. Actually, I guess we're going to take care of this spot first. This spot over here isn't really bothering me yet. There we go. There's UAV's king. We'll take that out and this will all despawn. That's okay. Let's put a satellite over here. That way we can kind of see what's going over on over there a little bit better. And uh, this this player left. Okay. All right, we'll push into here. That's all good. 
this guest that was over here also left. Not that I can blame them. They didn't really have much of anything. And they might not have had a way to go, either. That might have been why they attacked me. I'm seeing a lot of red on my border, and not a lot of purple. Which is unfortunate. There we go. Is this all gonna despawn? A little bit. A little bit of it did. All right. Let's head this way with this army. Take out these boss. This is a player. I think this is a player. We'll find out. Okay. So tanks. A very slow, very sluggish unit, but they do quite a bit of damage. And because they're so sluggish, they actually benefit a little bit more from projectors. Because if we go over here to the projector, um, I've mentioned it before, units collect shields at the projector that protect them. Well. They, they only collect as much shield as is actually in the projector. They don't always collect the 10 shields. So because tanks move so slowly, uh, there's more time for the projectors to regenerate health, which means the tanks get protected by more shield. I think that's the way it works anyhow. I, uh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually tested the theory, but you can see the number here. This is how many shields that it has. And as units go to it and go through it, they'll collect those shields and move on. Unfortunately, there is no easy way to see how much shield a unit has. So I don't actually know for sure if there is a, like a, a, a certain amount that shields always protect units for, or if it is based off of how many shields are in the projector. I would assume it would be based on the number of shields in the projector, but it's hard to say. And there's no easy way of telling unless you, like, one-to-one -one compare it. Null is a player. We'll send them an alliance offer be friends with them. Okay. So we have this bot up here. Is this player attacking me? I think they are. I think this was mine. I think that was my EWS. Okay, that bot went away. We can start pushing into this spot over here. I mean, I can kill this player, player pretty quickly. I just, I don't know. I don't like attacking people unless I have to. Because as, as was noticed in the last stream, like, and I've mentioned it before, it takes so long to actually attack a player that it's just not generally worth your time. Uh, usually you just want to take over bots and do your own thing and only really attack a player if you know you can beat them quickly. Or if you're just up for the challenge, of course. Ha! 
How's Huey doing? Are they... They're still invading Never Stop, but they're not going too quickly. I could see signs of this player doing more. Like, is this player here? I don't know. It's hard to tell. I can feed them troops and see what happens. Who knows? Maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll be able to push this back a little bit. I don't know. Uh, this is mostly a tank. Ah, they have a mix of bombers and fighters. Okay. And helicopters. Hmm. Might be worth switching over some of my aircraft to fighters then. Because fighters do better against bombers and helicopters. Actually, I don't think they get a bonus against helicopters. I think it's just bom bombers. Uh, fighters deal three damage. Or I guess I should say bombers get a disadvantage against air units. Yeah, they only do one damage against air. I don't think helicopters... Yeah, helicopters just do three damage. Okay. So it would be just, just for the bombers, basically. See, maybe this player is not going to attack me. Who knows? Claude, I believe, is a bot. But we'll send them an alliance, see if they accept it. Set up our supply lines up here. That way we can start expanding in this direction a little bit better. And probably over here too, we're going to set up a projector. This is kind of a weird path because there's like two paths through this void area here. And they're kind of evenly split. It would be the dream if this could reach. There. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, it's just slightly too far away. The dream is dead. Unfortunate. Okay. Well, there's other ways to deal with that that are slightly less exciting. We are going to have to deal with that bot soon. This bot is kind of being a nuisance. This bot down here is just kind of doomed. I think we'll probably bring this army around and attack this bot, Winter Mute, from the south. That, that seems like as good of a game plan as any right now. I'm not... Okay, well, I was about to say I'm not super worried about this bot, but they're going to be a nuisance. Okay, well, this... Just keep heading in this direction. See what happens. Go on a little expedition. JSK is a player. Uh, 
Okay, so this player is routing troops, but not routing them into Huey. So I'm going to stop that. It might even already be too late. Because usually if another player sees you supplying troops to someone they're attacking, they'll start attacking you. Oh, yeah, now now he... Ra okay. Alright. Fine. Fine. Thank you for implicating me in this... <laughs> in this war. <laughs> uh, I have nobody but myself to blame. This is all this is all not incorporated yet. Okay. Okay, we'll run these guys down this way. There we go. Hey, we're already on the leaderboard. That's great. Ah, you know, my troops were actually doing a pretty okay job at holding that off. Well, unfortunately, I have decided to wash my hands of that war. Although, it's yet to be seen if that war will washed its hands of me. Okay. Just gonna keep running these troops forward. I guess I've committed to this being an infantry route. I... <laughs> I didn't really think about it. It's just kind of happened. That bot has a lot of troops. They have so many tanks patrolling through this area here. Okay. Let's bring some more of these troops down. Oops. Don't mind me. Just seeing my desktop there. No biggie. I don't think there's anything exciting on my desktop. Probably not. Maybe there is. Who knows? is a player we'll we'll join them or ally with them anyhow I'm still a little bit worried that this Huey player might attack me I don't know There's Rosie. Rosie Bot will take them out. Sorry, I have my uh, 
like Twitch browser in a separate window. So whenever I go to like switch to it, sometimes it'll like fade out like that. It's it's weird. But uh it's just kind of the way that this is set up to do and I don't like it, but it's fine. Okay. So we are we are going to attack their king, yeah? Okay. So what's Focus going to do? Are they going to attack me? There we go. Alright, we'll send our tank line down to the south. Turn that into a projector and then attack deeper into the spot, and uh, that'll be fine. And it looks like Huey's still still doing their thing. I need to clean this mess up a little bit up here. There we go. This kind of makes sense. Sort of. Can kind of get a rotation of troops here. In fact, we might be able to get a larger rotation if we uh if we turn this into a projector as well. We can get all of this production also in the supply line. It'll make a nice little supply line. I'm kind of just hoping at this point that Huey doesn't decide that they want to attack me. And they might decide to. It's hard to say. But I, I keep bringing it up because I'm paranoid about it. So until I know that they're not going to attack me, I'm going to keep going, is Huey attacking me? Is he coming for me? When he gets here, is he just going to keep coming through? I don't know. He might. Albania is you. Ah, on the leaderboard. Okay. Nice. It's always a good feeling being on the leaderboard. It makes you feel important and powerful. People look up to you. Or some people see it as a challenge. I noticed that as well. Uh, when I was doing those time-lapse videos on YouTube, I noticed that like, when, when you're really small on the leaderboard, when you're not at the top, people don't bother you that often. But when you are at the top, like everybody attacks you. It's, it's kind of funny how that works. Yeah, I'm number 10. I could probably rank higher uh, if I upgraded a few things, but I don't know. I'm just vibing, listening to the music, chilling, talking to you guys, being paranoid that Huey is going to attack me. I don't think he is, though. I think if he was going to attack me, he would be doing so by now. That might change. He might be working on killing Never Stop and then turn around and attack me. But uh, Big R32 here is definitely attacking me, so we have to deal with that.
Let's see. This is slowly being pushed back. So this is what I mean about, like, the power of the tank. It's slow. It's very slow. But it's pushing these guys back, these troops back, with relative ease. Like, that was just bombers hitting this tank line and dying. And keep in mind that bombers do six damage to tanks. And the shields just mean that it mows through units like like they were nothing. Now, it is important to note, if you use projectors in your supply lines, that shields only work in unit versus unit fights. They don't actually help you capture buildings. Uh, they don't do any damage to buildings at all. So they're great for defense. They're great for pushing enemy units back. They're not amazing at actually taking land. There's dragon down there. We'll we'll ally with them as well. Okay. Well, since I'm a little bit paranoid about Huey, I might just keep this unit, this supply line here in reserve. Unless this guy's attacking me. Is he gonna attack me? It doesn't seem like it, not yet, anyhow. They might decide to at a later date. Anything's possible. Okay. Some unoccupied land up here we can grab real quick. So this is one thing that I kind of worry about Kayame specifically and streaming. And I think I mentioned it a little bit yesterday as well. There's just not really a lot to talk about sometimes. <laughs> like, it's just me going, okay, well, we're going to move these guys here, and we're going to move these guys there, and we're going to move these guys over there. And then we're going to wait five minutes for this army to crawl across the map. It's a very slow-paced game, and there's not... I mean, there's a lot going on, but it takes a lot of time to reach, like, for things to come to fruition, if that makes sense. And that doesn't necessarily make for the most amazing viewing experience. Uh, I suppose if you enjoy the dulcet tones of my voice, it would be okay. But I don't know. I don't know, time will tell. I'll definitely be streaming other things at some point, assuming I actually stream more than once or twice before giving up on it again. But... <laughs> but Kayame is doing so well for the channel that I kind of felt like I have to... I don't have to stream it, but I felt like I needed to stream it at least a little bit show my appreciation for the game uh maybe stream it every now and then uh probably not going to be a constant stream thing but it, it makes for a good tool for like testing my setup seeing how it sounds adjusting volumes, adjusting speaker sounds, and things like that, because there's not a lot going on. So I could come over here and I could tweak the the microphone to, to, to be a little bit louder, or to be very, very quiet. 
And I could do the same thing with the music as well. Ooh, there we go. So we'll see. Time will tell. Time will tell. I just didn't want to do Manor Lords today because <laughs> I, I looked at Twitch and I saw that there was a billion people streaming Manor Lords and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> not right now. Oh, that's not the right place. There we go. What phone do I prefer? I have a Samsung. Is this guy, this guy's attacking me, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're attacking me. All right. I know one thing, I am definitely not streaming for five and a half hours today. Not, not like I did yesterday. That was a little bit much. Just a little bit. So we have to deal with this player down here now, because, well, we can't have nice things, apparently. And we have a lot of open space to expand into that we just have not. Oh. It's kind of a weird little terrain thing here. None of this is connected to anything. All of this supply that I should be routing in, and I'm not because, I don't know, I'm lazy, I guess. I kicked one of the top 10 players out of my land, and I'm just like, eh. What if we just played as inefficiently as possible from now on? Yeah, that sounds like the right thing to do. Hmm. Gonna adjust my audio, but <laughs> I messed with my audio settings and now I'm a little quiet. There we go. Okay. That's a name for sure. Okay, so let's see. That's going there. We'll turn that into a projector. Uh, we'll take that satellite back and then we'll be able to see what more is going on in here. I could send my tanks down from the north. This bot, I mean, they're fighting back, but they're not really fighting back. If you press H Florent, you'll be uh, your screen will just focus on your king. That's uh that's a easy way to find your king if you don't know where it is. So, if I scroll over here and I press H right there's my king. The only time it doesn't work is if uh if your king is in transit. So say my king is traveling from this headquarters to this headquarters. If I go over here and I press H, it won't work. 
So as long as your king is stationary in one spot and you press H, you should be brought directly to it. It doesn't matter how big you are. I guess unless you're playing on mobile or something and then you don't have the H key. Hmm. I didn't think about that. How do people play this game on mobile? It's a good question. I have it on my phone and I play it occasionally during like my meal break just to see like how many points I could get in 30 minutes. But I never really play the game long enough to get a lot of points. And I don't know how you would play the game long term. Okay, I need to... <laughs> I'm so busy playing around with uh, my settings and looking at other things. I should probably actually get to work getting this mess up here set up. So let's see. We have a projector here and we have a projector here. We also have a projector there as well. So... This choke point here is kind of annoying. So let's do the easy stuff first. Let's, let's go up here. Can I reach that place? No. So it has to be probably there. That factory will turn into a projector. Route those guys there. We we'll route these guys up to this projector. Just like this. There we go. And then this. is really dumb. Okay. I guess we'll route there. Turn that into projector. I don't really like that. But there's this gap right here. It starts it starts like all the way up here and it just goes and it goes and it goes like that's a barrier and a half right there. It's kind of a nuisance. So that means we can turn this into a projector and we can route it also into here. That No, we can just route the production into there. We don't have to have another projector there. Then we're going to turn that into a projector. Something like that. And then from there, we can come down to... Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, it's not close enough. Oh, that would have been so nice to have. Okay. Oh, and there's a projector there as well. I didn't even know we had that. Okay, halfway point. We'll go to that one. And then we'll take this projector and we'll go to there. And we'll route these guys into this one. Does that make sense? I have no idea. It at least gets everything moving. And in this game, that's what you want. You want everything to be moving. Because... This building here, this runway, isn't producing anything, and it won't produce anything until I move the units out of it. 
So if you want to maximize your troops, even if they're not perfectly efficient, you just got to keep them moving. Let's see, we'll route all of this into here. Just like that. And up here, that will come down this way. And this isn't the way this is going to go forever. I just want to make sure everything can be connected and then we can connect them in a better way. So technically what I want, oh, that bot left. Hmm. Oh, there's so many bots now. That's unfortunate. So this focus player doesn't seem like a very good player. They attacked me and then they were just not doing anything. So I don't know if they didn't attack me on purpose or what. But we'll take care of them. <laughs> There's so many bots. <laughs> Look how many bots there are. That's a guest, that's a player. We'll make friends with them. Okay. Let's take care of this player. Resolve that problem. Figure something else out to do down here. Let's see. Is it just gonna be there? Yeah, I think it's just gonna be there. Okay. So we can move this a little bit farther south, and then we can route that to the north. That's not perfect, but it'll work. Okay, so this player here might deal with these bots. Oh wait, I don't have to worry about it. That would be nice. To bring these troops back and we can pick off some of these spots. We'll have a line that goes like this and a line that goes like... No, I can't actually get through there. Okay. Well, let's explore a little bit, see what's up there. And this player should... Uh should depart from this mortal coil soon. I monkeyed with my audio settings and now I'm paranoid that they're all wrong. They're all wrong. It's ruined. So it looks like this player just nuked the bunker for this king, and it didn't destroy it, because that's kind of the whole deal with nukes and bunkers. We can go and attack that king. It probably won't be there by the time my tanks get there, but that's okay. There we go capture this territory. Claim it for my empire. Okay. So 
so this is a little bit weird. Let's head this way. Yeah, I was hoping to kind of separate this into two supply lines and head this way to the northeast, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Actually, it doesn't look like we're going to be fighting this spot much at all. Oops, excuse me, apparently I have the hiccups all of a sudden. Or, or it was a fluke. Maybe I don't have the hiccups. Okay, so their king moved to there. That's fine. So Huey is still fighting never stop that's fine and this boss attacking me that's less fine oh no, the king's gonna get through in time. Yeah. But it does look like they're going back to this bunker, so... I can reroute to that bunker and maybe catch the king there. Look at chat? Oh no. What's going on in chat? Do I want to know? help me get winter mute I mean I kind of am already okay cool I always worry about opening up that chat you never <laughs> you never know what you might see there's uh, some pretty unpleasant people in the world that enjoy using the Kayome chat for some reason. <laughs> okay, so this is going over there. Is that where I want to take that? I mean, that's not a bad spot, I guess. That one might be a little bit better. I could downgrade. Ugh. That was a yawn. Sorry about that. I could downgrade that refinery and turn it into a factory, then upgrade it into a protractor. That might work. Oh. All right, there we go. And the bot has been destroyed. Excellent. guy gonna be my friend or is he gonna try to attack me I think he's gonna try to attack me that's fine if he does we can fix that problem we have the technology watching the bombers mow through the infantry line. <laughs> I don't actually know if uh, this tank line is going to be enough to fight this wonderful named person. 
whose name is definitely not censored. But I have this army coming up from the south, so that should probably resolve that issue pretty directly. Yeah, you'll get that. That That's one of the unfortunate things about Kayame, is that you don't often get the satisfaction of fighting an enemy player until you, you get their king and they, they, they perish that way. Uh, a lot of times people either get frustrated or they get bored or they quit as soon as they see that they're being pushed back. That's part of the reason why I try my best not to leave, unless unless it's something that's going to take hours and hours and hours, because most people leave, and it's not a satisfying conclusion. So, like, at the beginning of the game today, when I was fighting the number, whatever number player, the many W's was... Uh, the, the idea came up to, to quit and restart, and I could have done that, but I didn't want to. And if I had lost that war, if the mini W player would have destroyed me, then, uh, then so be it. They would have destroyed me. But at least I would have put up a fight. I wouldn't have left. Uh, that's actually... That's actually kind of not great. Hmm. Alright. Well, this bot's going to be a problem, isn't it? I didn't actually realize how close this bot had come to my supply lines. Oh, and I can't go that way. Okay. So there's, there's like a... A gap, a really long gap right in through here that I cannot cross. So in order for me to go this way with this army, I either have to go this way or I have to go this way. And neither paths are very, very clear, clearly defined. And it looks like I'm not going to be able to go that way because of N. Okay, well, I guess we're doing this then. I don't really like mixing my infantry and tank lines like I'm doing here, but considering I don't actually have a whole lot of tanks in this supply line right now, I that should be fine. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. And it's a small emergency. It's not a big emergency, but it's a minor, minor issue. Let's take care of this spot real quick. Let's see, how are we doing up here? keep going after this king. I don't know if this player is eventually going to attack me. Probably not. They don't look very big. We'll go to that factory. And then we'll use that factory and head up in this direction. Because I think this player is going to continue attacking me. Okay. Grid that to a satellite. There we go. 
Gives us better vision over there. See what's going on. This is just an ugly mess over here. <laughs> so it's the funniest thing. Never Stops King is right here. I, I kind of want to feed him troops again. And see him push back. I don't know if that would actually happen, but it might. Yeah, it's definitely a good, f nice feeling when you move up the ranks. That's one of the joys of playing this type of game, or like really any type of game. I, I call Kayame an IO style game, like Agar.io or Slither.io, those kinds of games. Uh, I don't know if it would really be classified as that kind of game, but I feel like it's that kind of game. It has the same ideas. And that's one of the joys of that kind of game, is just, like, getting points, ranking up, and getting on the leaderboard. It's a very simplistic idea. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just kind of that, like, instant gratification kind of feeling. So this could cause a war with Huey. I don't know why I do this to myself. Is there any IO game longer than this? I mean, most IO games kind of just last forever. Uh, with the exception of something like, I don't know, territorial.io, which like has uh, like different game modes or like instanced games, I guess you could call it. I don't know, it, it's not really a genre that I delve too deeply into. Uh, I, I was, I, I played a little bit of like the popular ones when they came out, but but since then, this is the only one I've really played for any long periods of time. Come on, come on, never stop, pay attention. I'm sure there's a lot of people who disagree that it's hard to die in Kayame. I see people complain all the time that it's too difficult and they can't get over a certain number of points. But I, I do get it. I understand what you mean. It's, it's, it's easy to become large in this game and you don't really need a lot of skill for it. Like, nothing that I'm doing right now is particularly difficult. Anybody could do this. It's just a matter of clicking and moving. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to fight that guy. We'll, uh, we'll be friends for now. And yeah, a, a lot of the, like... IO style games will sort of not reward you for killing players but like you get something for killing players you don't really get anything for killing players in this game other than more land so there's no real incentive to going after players So, like, I don't have any reason to stir the pot and anger Huey. Except it would be really fun to fight that war. And a lot of people wouldn't think that way. A lot of people wouldn't, wouldn't want to fight that war because it'd be a long war. It would probably prevent me from getting on the leaderboard for... Or getting to the top of the leaderboard for longer. But I don't know. I find the big wars in this game really fun. Like, if you have two 
players that are roughly equal in size and they're like two or three thousand points and they're going at it it's oh i accidentally nuked that cave oops it can be a lot of fun and there can be a lot of thought put into it to move the lines forward even a little bit and i like that i like that sort of critical thinking method Like, this game does not get difficult unless you're fighting somebody that's close to your size. Which means the larger that you are, the less difficult the game is. Unlike in a lot of IO style games where the larger you are, the more incentive people have to take you down. But again, there's no real incentive for fighting other players in this game. Therefore, it just doesn't happen too often. Time, brain, good PC, good internet, and more time. It, it's really a time factor. Uh, I don't, I don't know if this requires a super powerful PC. Uh, it definitely slows down and stutters if you if you take too long or if you get too big. I guess I should say not take too long. You do not need a computer. Uh, Kayome is available on the Google Play Store. Play Store. That one. That that one, right there. Google Play and uh, I think it's also open source. I think it's on like. Well, GitHub. I think that's why GitHub is there. There's some people on the Discord that do set up, like, their own modded server and tower. Yeah, like I said, I've played it on mobile before. I usually just do it to waste time. And I have had issues with Kayame on my computer. Even this computer. This is like a decent little gaming computer. Usually, though, it's when I get really, really big. And there's other issues. Usually, like, connectivity issues. Not really like a PC issue. But it is a resource hog. It is a little bit of a resource hog. Mostly processing power. Not Obviously this doesn't really tax your GPU that much. It's kind of funny. Uh, Never Stop is actually pushing Huey back now that he's getting these troops. I'm also not, I'm not expanding anywhere near as fast as I could be expanding. I mean, there's still large swaths of my territory that doesn't have the production tied into the supply lines. And I could be attacking all these bots. I could be attacking Huey. Do I want to attack Yui? Maybe. Maybe I'll attack Yui. Let's take care of the spot first. And we can also reroute this supply line. Now I want to go in here. So maybe I'll do something like this. And then we'll run this supply line back on itself like that. Yeah, usually 
usually players will ally with you. It's kind of weird. The last two times that I played Kayome, yesterday and today, there's been a lot of players that either A, don't want to ally, or B, actively attack me. It's kind of uh, unusual. Let's build some more satellites on the border, get a better idea of what's going on here. So all things considered, Huey isn't that much bigger than me. He's only about a thousand points, 1100 points. So by, by, by that matrix, I'm not super worried about them. They're definitely big enough that if they wanted to attack me, they absolutely could and probably win if they knew what they were doing or if they were better than me. And it might be. It might be better than me. I'm not the best person in the in the world. Okay, let's double that back on itself. It's kind of a weird way, but that's fine. Double this back. Let's see, like that. Yeah. That'll go there. That'll go there. This is being funneled in from somewhere. It's from there. Okay. And this supply line will eventually reroute itself over that way. I also really like supply lines that cross over themselves. I think I mentioned that during yesterday's stream as well, but I can mention it again this time. So you have, especially now I have a drawing tool. Ooh. So you have a limit on how much can cross the road here so that you have this road and you can only have eight people going one way or one or eight groups of people going one way. But you can also have eight groups going the other way. So per road, you can have 16 groups running either direction, basically. So with that in mind, like crossing your supply lines, overlapping them like that is a really good defensive measure because it just doubles the effective defense of that area. As long as you have a max out supply line, at least. And it, it also stores more troops overall. Because you have 16 groups going across the same area rather than just eight. It's really nice. I like it. I don't do it too often, but when I really try hard, I set up a loop like this, and then I'll set up another loop. Like, uh, let's see if I can set this up. Well, I would probably actually have to play the game and <laughs> and loop these the supply lines in properly. Instead of just kind of chilling out and moving troops around. Here, let's do that real quick. Let's move some of these supply lines and actually get them set up properly. Let's see, these guys can go there. Why do I have this I don't remember but that's okay Let's 
see. We should have another supply line. So, I don't want to be quoted on this, but there is supposed to be a grace period where it will try to reconnect you if you disconnect, but I don't know how that works when you're like changing networks or servers, especially if your IP changes. I I don't have an answer for you and I don't want, don't want to give you the wrong answer. I'm just going to say that you you choose to change your networks in the middle of the game at your own risk. Let's see. Can move these guys in here. Okay, now that we have a little bit of more troop movement. So, if I wanted to really try hard this, I would have this supply line, this projector, going into here. And then I would route this up to maybe Oh, that would work okay. This is kind of a really tiny circle to make, and I probably wouldn't normally do this, but I want to I want to kind of give an example of how this would have work. How do you tell if you're winning a war? If you're pushing the enemy back, you might be winning the war. Either that or they just haven't noticed you yet. All right, we'll leave that run for a little bit. Maybe route some more troops in. See, there's a bunch of production up here that's not doing anything. a little bit better. Lots of bots up there. That's a little scary. What? Where are troops coming into here from? Right there. Okay. There we go. Let's funnel more troops into here. Probably not the tank line. Even though I should do something with this tank line. Uh, what do I want to do with this tank line? I don't know. I guess I'll do that. I'll just make the most boring tank line ever. That works.
There we go. Those two are players. This is a player. BMO is not a player. BMO is a bot. Yeah, so this is kind of the idea of what I would do if I really wanted to set up troops in a position to make it difficult to attack. Like, this is a very hard... As long as the player is paying attention to what's going on in the game and not completely ignoring the position... So, like, basically, as long as, like, they can react to, like, this projector dying. Or somebody bombing one of these barracks. This would be a difficult formation to break. Just because, like, they would send troops in to try to take this. And it would they would immediately get hit by, like, three or four units. And there's probably even more troops that could be funneled into this. Usually when I'm doing something like this, though, it's on a much larger radius. And I don't do it that often because it's kind of a pain in the butt. But it looks cool. So there's that. I'm enjoying Never Stops Comeback here. It's great. It's beautiful. Brings a tear to my eye. Let's see, Fern E is a bot. Okay. Well, we've been live for only a couple of hours now. But I'm pretty hungry. Kind of looking to get something to eat. Is Atlas bordering me? Atlas is a bot. So even though one might be bordering me, there's not. But if there was one boarding me, it could be a different atlas. But uh, I think this is where I'm going to call all the stream for now. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty hungry right now. And I did say I wasn't going to be streaming forever today. Not like yesterday where I was streaming for five hours. So uh, I think this is it for me. For today. Well, probably for today. Yeah, yeah, probably for today. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just when you joined. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I, I have some things I need to get done this evening. And I need to get something to eat, and I can't be sitting playing Kayame all day, unfortunately. Yeah, probably. This isn't this isn't big enough for me to want to stay logged in. I only usually stay logged in if I have like four or five thousand points. Uh, if I know that I'll live for long enough to get back to the game, but that's probably not going to be the case here. So. Uh, so yeah, we, we have a nice little empire. Could have been bigger, though. How many villages do we have? Let's see, we have 121 villages. Have you heard the actual pronunciation of Kayome? Yes, it's Kayome. Uh, 
I believe Squirrel mentioned that it was pronounced Frenchly with a silent T. So not Kiomet, which is how it's pronounced a lot. And even I used to pronounce it that way. Maybe Kiomi? I don't know. Kiomi? Yeah. Something like that. The big thing is the, the silent T. But uh, Kiome, Kiomi, either or. Kiomet. We know what you're talking about. That's the important part. All right. Well, uh, I guess this is where we're going to leave it here. So, switch back over to this this wonderful thing. I still don't have a stream ending gif. Tomorrow again? I don't know. I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow. I might stream something different tomorrow. If I stream tomorrow at all. I, uh, I'm on vacation right now, but I also have a lot of stuff that I need to get done. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. <laughs> so, uh, this will be up on the YouTube channel. So if you wanted to watch it up there, you could. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I just don't have the time to sit down and play all day today, I'm afraid. Well, I'm glad you had a great time. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Also, I noticed I don't have chat on this. Oh, yeah, I do have chat on the screen. It's on the other side. Is that the way it works? Is that the way I have it set up? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, the chat box is on the left side of the screen on the normal window. And it's on the right side of the screen on the... Whatever. Whatever, it's fine. I'm not... I'm professional. I'm very professional. All right. Uh, until next time. Happy gaming.